I learned something today about Walt Disney that I'd now like to share with you, which is that whenever food arrived, Walt Disney would always look who added salt to their food without first tasting it. And he said that the reason for this is that if someone just immediately adds salt to their food without first testing it to know whether it needs salt, it's a classic sign of inflexible thinking. And it got me thinking, what assumptions do we all make in our own lives that are actually false beliefs that we've just never challenged? Because there's a quote I like, which is that when you assume, you make an ass of you and me. And I think there's a certain degree of truth in that. Assumptions can be really dangerous. In fact, I was chatting with someone who was a potential client of mine the other day, and we were on a call, and he was saying that he has actually spent some time on YouTube, and he does know a little bit about the platform, but he said that one of the most dangerous phrases in business he feels is saying, I already know that, which is why he's coming to me, because he wanted further help with it. He wanted to understand it in more detail, and he knew there were things that he didn't quite know. Even though he thought he had a vague idea about them, he wanted to actually check what he was right about, what assumptions he'd made, and what the truth actually was. And so I think that's a great way to look at it because there's another quote in business which is equally scary, which is, oh, we've always done it that way. Again, that kind of inflexible thinking of being unwilling to adapt and look for better alternatives and challenging whether what you're doing is actually right or whether you're just going along with things the way they've always been done. And personally, I'm really interested in these psychological flaws that we all have in the way we think about things. Things like biases that we have. For example, the confirmation bias is linked to this. This idea that we selectively filter the world around us and the information we get to align with our way of thinking because we want to be proven right and so we kind of ignore evidence to the contrary. And in politics, that is an absolute minefield which we won't even get into. But it applies to everyone. It happens on all sides to every single person. We have elements of confirmation bias in our everyday lives where we just completely ignore the truth so that we can feel like the world aligns to how we think it should align. And that is so dangerous to do, not only in business, but in every aspect of our life. And so I really just wanted to make this video to kind of remind us all that we need to challenge assumptions more. We need to think back to Walt Disney's salt test and look at areas of our life where we're doing things just because we've kind of always done them that way. It's just a habit that we have, but we haven't really reviewed whether it's still a good habit, whether it's still something that we should be doing without question. And the reason I wanted to make this video is that for people like us who are on this path to building a more successful life for ourselves and achieving all these things we want to achieve, well, I think it's important to occasionally just look at different beliefs we have in our lives and actually question them a little bit. Because quite often we never do challenge our assumptions. And that can be really dangerous because all of us have some limiting beliefs. Just from the way we're raised and the exposure to the environment around us, we pick things up when we're younger and we just assume that they are the right thing without ever actually going back and questioning, well, is it? And looking at the facts and data from both sides. Because it's very possible there's one or two limiting beliefs that you have in your own life that are obstructing you from getting to where you want to go. I mean, for a lot of people, they're raised with very limited beliefs about money. For example, a lot of people genuinely believe that money is the root of all evil. I mean, I'm guessing if you're watching this channel, that's probably not the case. We're all about making money. But you know what I mean. Everyone has a couple of these limiting beliefs. And I think it's important just once in a while to actually go through and question things a bit more. Really look at things that we've always believed and just challenge ourselves on them. The chances are maybe you still stand by them. But until we actually put the thought into it, we, we never really know for certain. Hopefully you're as interested in this topic of cognitive biases as I am, because I think it really is something we need to understand so we can kind of counteract those things that happen to our brain without us ever really realizing. And so if you are interested in that, I'm gonna be making another video on that in the future. So make sure you've hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of that. Because if you don't hit the bell, YouTube won't even tell you about it. But hopefully that's just given you a little something to think about. I know it's something that you've probably heard about before, but 
we very rarely take the time just to question our own beliefs and check what assumptions we're making. So bear that in mind, I'll do the same and I will see you in the next video. Here is a playlist for you if you want something a little more right now. I think you will enjoy that one. Thanks again for watching, cheers.